Hi, today I'm going to show how Live and Next can help to reduce mean time to resolutions and troubleshooting network performance issues with our dashboard monitoring and reporting functions. Most of our customers see a 50 to 90% reduction in mean time to resolve. So let's dive into Live and Next. Let me explain a bit of what you can see on your dashboard. Each of these windows is a widget that can provide different sets of data. You can easily remove or add in these widgets for network monitoring purposes. For example, I have these widgets shown. You have your application flow widget, which shows the application flow for all WAN devices, your top conversations showing the top talker, your top application network performance showing the application with the highest network delay, your top application performance, which shows the highest application delay, top interface, showing both outbound and inbound traffic. The cool feature on this dashboard is the filter function, which can greatly reduce the mean time to resolve, especially troubleshooting bandwidth utilization issues. For example, if you would like to see network performance for a specific site, you can use this search function. When you click on the search text box, you will see a few options. Select the site that you will be working on. Let's pick on Los Angeles. Once you've applied the filter, all the reading or data on each widget will update accordingly based on your search criteria. Now you can see this dashboard become a, a Los Angeles dashboard, showing only information relating to LA. From here, you will know the top talker, top application, application that's having the top network delay, an application having the top application delay, and the top interface with outbound and inbound bandwidth. We can see YouTube is the application that consumes the most bandwidth for the Los Angeles site. You can continue to add onto the search function. You can add YouTube to the search, click on the filter function, Select the application and type YouTube. Again, all the reading on each widget will update according based on the search you have applied. Now you can see YouTube's bandwidth utilization and its performance on the Los Angeles site. From here, you will note the following information. Bandwidth utilization for the YouTube on the Los Angeles site, the top user for YouTube, a network performance for YouTube, application performance for YouTube, and also the performance summary for YouTube. Another cool feature of LiveNX that can reduce your troubleshooting time is the one click to reporting. If you wanted to get more detail on any of the widgets, just click on the widget title and it will take you straight to the reporting function. Note that the search that you have applied on the dashboard will also automatically apply on the reporting. See, this is the report for the Los Angeles site that we were just working on. Last but not least, our reporting will also allow the user to drill down for further details, which again is saving your time in troubleshooting. Thank you for watching.